What's going on guys? I'm Jada Black. Salute to everybody that's tuning in. Make sure you like this video. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. I want to talk about Darius Geis. Um, his career pretty much seems like it's over, especially in the NFL, because no team is going to take a chance on him right now. And if they do, I would be really surprised, if not shocked. Not only for the fact that he was accused of assaulting women at LSU, there's also a new report, a very damaging report by Ross Dillinger. Now on his Twitter page, he posted uh, this message. It was actually a statement uh, from a 70 year old woman who went over the fact that she was harassed by Darius Geis, I believe at a high school football game. And this was back in 2017, all right? This was right before he went to the NFL because he had some issues that kept him from being drafted higher. Teams did not want to take a chance on him because there may have been some character flaws, right? Now, according to this report, it says at 3.30 p.m., she was sitting on a chair at her post when Darius Geis and several other men approached her. He began saying that he likes older women and asked if she would have relations with him. She was shocked and told him that was not funny. He continued to gest gesture at his private area and grab himself in front of her saying that older women are my thing and that they can just go off and do it somewhere. She told him that she is a grandmother and 70 years old and that he shouldn't talk to people that way. The other men began to laugh. She tried to tell him how dis uh, disgusting it was that he would treat her that way, but he kept talking about having relations as he got in an elevator and left she reported to her supervisor that people called the coach at lsu he said that darius was probably just kidding around and that darius came from a broken home she said that she did not care and that he should be punished for his behavior all right now again she's calling this coach out of the blue right and she's asking this coach to punish somebody when she doesn't have evidence or proof. It's, she, it's basically her getting upset at what Darius Geis did. I'm not saying it's right, and I'm going to get to it. But you can't just call this coach and tell him, oh, this player said this to me. You should punish him. That's not how it goes. You, you can't just do that. And maybe she thought that they would accept her word because, again, I, I don't know. I, I'm not going to speculate. But I'm going to assume this was an older Caucasian woman, okay, who may have been taken aback by this black athlete trying to hook up with her. And maybe that's not something she was used to. Maybe she's not used to, to, to guys being that aggressive towards her. So again, I can't blame the coach at that moment. You can't just call him and just say, hey, punish him. Like, that's just not how it works. You need evidence, you need proof that something was done in that moment for them to actually happen. Darius never touched her. Darius never put a hand on her. So you can't just say that they should punish him. Like, anyway, uh, she said that she felt like he had, he did it with such ease that she felt he had done this before. The coach asked what she wanted, an apology. She told him that she wanted Darius to sit out from a game the bowl game he dismissed her and no one has returned her call or done anything <laughs> i mean again i understand that she listen listen there are guys out here and again i'm not making excuses for anything that Darius guys has done or is it i'm just want y'all to understand there are guys who will approach an older woman like they approach younger women Okay, and there are older women who are accepting of being approached in an aggressive manner. She just wasn't. Okay, but again, he 
he yeah, does it seem like harassment in a sense it does because she has rejected him in a sense rejected his uh advances and he kept going at you know going at he kept he kept kind of alluding to it right and then he just walked off right again we're dealing with a guy who has serious immaturity issues and what's funny about this Darius guy situation is that there were people questioning his orientation that's what's that's what's weird is that we we that there was reports that team scouts or, or somebody that was scouting for a team i, be, I believe they asked him about his orientation there's guys and people are thinking that's why he wasn't drafted higher or he had maybe character issues was because people thought that he was gay <laughs> then you hear these reports about how he may have did something to women while he was at lsu then you have this woman coming out saying that he harassed her now i'm not saying that he couldn't you know like this or that but that kind of put that report to bed because he's not harassing men <laughs> you know and again this now and this is just a side note this was probably a woman who didn't look 70 because you have women right you got older women that will look 70 not not look 70 they will be 70 but they don't look it right they may look like they're in their late 40s you know you have women who they they age very well and that might have been the case with her and she said it in in the report that he might have done this before yes and he may have been successful because there are older women that like to be they like to be approached by younger men they like to hook up with younger men i know that's shocking to y'all but that happens you got older women who still may look good have a nice body they hooking up with younger guys don't let this whole society programming fool you there are older women getting it in with younger men let's just be real about that not all older women are just dealing with older men maybe in a marriage or relationship sense but in regards to having relations older women are getting it in with young dudes don't let nobody fool you that's going on okay just because a woman is older does not mean that she does not have a drive to sleep with men that drive never goes away i don't care how old you get that's why you have these men who are older dating younger women who you know a lot more energetic <laughs> there's a reason there's a reason why older men will go after younger women there's a reason right because he wants to get it in himself okay he, he's not letting age stop him from having fun and older women are the same way but older women are extremely discreet when it comes to that they are extremely discreet more discreet than i think older men are older men just don't care now darius guys he got kicked off of the washington football team due to the amounting incidents of domestic situations that he had and that's what got him released that's what got him released okay and then he was accused of assaulting women at lsu listen i'm not saying that what darius guys did was right the woman what did not take heat that did not like your advance towards her i think he should have got the message but again we're dealing with the guy who was in his early 20s immature right and he did not understand that you know he thinks because he's a football player at lsu that women would want him and that's just not the case not every woman is going to want you if a woman rejects you move on and it seemed like at that moment he didn't get the hint that you know she wasn't really trying to hook up with him and he got in his feelings a bit and and took it a, a step further and a step further then he eventually walked away but now you have this woman who clearly uh, was not interested right but the fact that again she expected the team to bench him because of what she said when they didn't see it when there's no uh people other people come forth and say hey look at how this guy harassed her like you put the team in a very bad spot right you put the team in a very bad spot 
Now, Darius, to me, seemed like a guy who doesn't get it. You know, Darius was in a photo, right, on a boat with a bunch of Caucasian women, right? And that photo kind of went viral a bit. And there were people saying, oh, look how cool it is. He's with all these women. This was, his, I believe, his first year in the NFL. But you can tell his mentality, man. His mentality is about chasing after women. Can't have that mentality when you're trying to be an NFL player. You know, you out here doing you, but then you're getting into domestic disputes with your girlfriend or whomever, right? Can't be doing that. There's guys just to seem like a guy who just can't get out of his own way. He's where he is because of the choices that he made, right? His career is pretty much over right now because no team is going to touch him right now. You got oversensitive people on social media. It will take a team that has a strong leadership at the top, which is the ownership, down to the coach, down to the team itself, for them to take a flyer on him. Now, Antonio Brown did get another chance, right? But Antonio Brown's incidences... They, they consider bad, but they're not as bad as what Darius Geis is being accused of. Not only did he get their reports of him in domestic disputes, you have two women who claim he did things to them when he was at LSU. Then you got this 70-year-old woman claiming she was harassed by him, right? That's only going to probably mount and mount. We've seen the worst of Antonio Brown. We've seen the worst. Right, we, we, We've seen the worst of what Antonio Brown is going through right now. But Darius Geis, I mean, it just continues to mount. And he's not as talented as Antonio Brown, even at Antonio Brown's age. I think Antonio Brown has taken the strides to get better and do better. Right. Hopefully Darius Geis will do the same thing. We will see.